This is our fifth time. I wouldn't have dreamt of what I learned here. This encourages you and inspires you. And it's so relaxing and the food is great. <laughs> I love retreats at sea. And I will do it again. And you should be here. Holy Trinity is at work full time here. Pope Francis' latest declaration on same-sex blessings is threatening to derail his beloved project of unity with the Orthodox churches. Join us with the latest from the Eternal City Church Milton Throne correspondent, Dr. Jules Gomez. Jules, how have the Orthodox bishops responded to uh, the latest declaration? Uh, uh, Brad, on the Hill, the Orthodox bishops have been quiet. They have maintained a tactful silence. But yesterday, there was friendly fire from across the Bosphorus. And one of the most articulate, uh, you know, one of the most highly qualified uh, Orthodox bishops, we're talking about Metropolitan Hilarion Alfeyev, who is from the Russian Orthodox Church. He is the Metropolitan of Budapest. He had a 45-minute uh, interview with uh, the renowned uh, author and uh, theological commentator Rod Dreher, the author of the Benedict Option. And uh, he had some pretty scatting things to say about uh, fiducia supplicants, including the fact that this has led to a very actual stalling of Orthodox Catholic dialogue. So what specifically did uh, Metropolitan Hilarion have to say about this declaration and, and, and how it is derailing the ecumenical project with the Russian Orthodox? Well, he, he called it a major fracture, you know, said that it had crossed a red line. And uh, listen to what he has to say uh, somewhere in the beginning of this interview. I think, realistically speaking, uh, we should not hope for any reunion between the Catholics and the Orthodox. We can uh, modestly hope for some uh, sort of better understanding, better mutual understanding. But of course, such steps, they uh, certainly are not going to bring us any closer. On the contrary, they will uh, create new dividing lines, new problems, and it will be more difficult to engage in a, a fruitful dialogue after such statements have been made. Now, Jules, it sounds a little bit like the Orthodox Bishop Polarian was predicting something very similar to what you yourself were predicting. Could you elaborate on that? Well, absolutely. I have predicted very often that, you know, such moves uh, will lead to a collapse of any form of ecumenical dialogue. And I know this because the Orthodox were very unhappy when the Church of England went ahead and ordained women bishops in particular. Obviously, they were very unhappy with women priests, so-called. Uh, but then uh, the uh, institution of same-sex blessings in the Church of England became a huge problem for the Orthodox Church, uh, particularly since they have taken a very strong stand on it, you know, all across the board. In fact, just last week, coinciding with Fiducia supplicants, the Orthodox Church of Greece uh, issued an encyclical saying that uh, no way we are going to accept same-sex parenting or same-sex marriage. So uh, uh, it has opened a pandemic Pandora's box and let the uh, good Archbishop speak for himself. And I can predict that very soon it will become a big business, a big industry in the Catholic Church, because uh, it will be on demand. Such priests uh, will be very popular in certain circles, and they will uh, practice these uh, blessings, so to speak, with the permission from the Vatican. So Metropolitan Hilarion is saying the, this decision is really damaging, uh, not just the Roman uh, Catholic Church, uh, but even wider implications. Can you go there? 
Well, absolutely, it has opened up a Pandora's box because uh, the Orthodox, you know, have always regarded uh, the papacy as the, uh, you know, the first among equals, uh, the elder brother among all the patriarchs. And for now, this elder brother to let the other brothers down is a huge betrayal. Again, he puts it very well. Listen to what he has to say. Well, uh, my initial impression was uh, a kind of a shock because uh, I think we always cite the Roman Catholic Church as a beacon of traditional Christianity, uh, the Church which uh, always uh, supports the traditional Christian values and the traditional Christian moral teaching. Uh, in spite of the fact that uh, from many different angles it is attacked for this uh, traditionalism, for this uh, supposed uh, stubbornness, especially from various uh, Protestant communities. So Jules, who are the other bishops uh, now since we reported yesterday on all the many bishop conferences? Who's, what other bishops out there are raising uh, objections to uh, blessing same-sex couples? Uh, Brad, in our report yesterday, we already talked about the bishops of Zambia. Uh, we talked about the bishops of Malawi earlier. Uh, we talked about Kazakhstan. Uh, but now the bishops of Rwanda have come out against Pope Francis's Fiducia supplicans. And uh, one of the most incisive and scathing statements has been from the Bishops' Conference of Cameroon. Let me read a couple of uh, paragraphs from this statement, because it's so, so important. Uh, it, the, the, the Bishops' Conference of Cameroon, they say, homosexuality falsifies human anthropology and trivializes sexuality, marriage, and the family, the foundation of society. In African culture, this practice is not part of family and social values. It is a flagrant violation of the heritage bequeathed to us by our ancestors. In the history of peoples, homosexual practices have never given rise to societal evolution, but are clear signs of the implosive decadence of civilizations. In fact, Homosexuality get, sets humanity against itself and destroys it. They then go on to say, in a literal sense, to bless is to speak well of, and to bless well and to speak well of a homosexual couple by an act of blessing would be to encourage a choice and lifestyle that cannot be recognized as objectively ordered to God's revealed purposes. We therefore declare any form of blessing that tends to recognize homosexual couples as a state of life to be not in conformity. And, and yet even they would say, uh, uh, you know, if anybody's struggling and wants to have a blessing, individual person uh, seeking God's will or to do uh, better in life, I'm sure they'd be open always. Oh, yeah, well, priests have always been open to that. Uh, but this is just keeping uh, a lid on the scandal that would go actually to the couple itself if they were given just some carte blanche, uh, you, know, non, you know, blessing to uh, continue on or to uh, uh, maybe someday have some inkling of, of uh, doing God's will down the road a ways. Uh, now, that's understandable, Jules, in, in Africa, but really, uh, you know, it's been from the continent of Europe here, we really haven't had much uh, pushback. Uh, Austria actually went so far as to say uh, priests probably cannot reject blessing same-sex couples when they come up to them. Uh, what, uh, what groups are in Europe pushing back against this? Well, uh, may I say a little more about Africa, because the uh, Archbishop of Mombasa, Martin Kir Kiruva, has also protested. And uh, interestingly, uh, Cardinal Fridolin 
Ambongo Bezungu, who is part of Pope Francis's inner circle. He's been part of that inner circle, you know, G9, for the last three years. Uh, he's come out with a statement saying that the document is so ambiguous that it causes perplexity. And so he wants to put together a unified statement from all the African bishops conferences. Now, having talked about Africa and coming to Europe, the uh, response is uh, rather tepid, uh, even though we talked about the, you know, the confraternity of English priests. 500 of them have said that they will not accept this declaration. And uh, uh, the Polish bishops are uh, interesting, and, and, you know, we expect them to do this because they've been fairly conservative. They have come out with a statement saying that sex outside marriage is always against the will of God and uh, always breaks the sixth commandment and therefore under no circumstances are we going to encourage same-sex blessings. Hmm. Okay, now how is our beloved Germany, who's kind of been leading the way in all this, uh, how are they taking all this? Well, the Pope explainers told us that this document was issued uh, precisely to uh, put a check on the, you know, rampage of the same-sex blessing. They've just gone on a binge, as we know, blessing same-sex couples in Germany. Uh, however, the Germans, you know, uh, you would expect, you would not expect if you threw a hungry tiger a bone, uh, the, the, the tiger is not going to be satisfied. He's going to want more and probably eat you up uh, if you don't feed him. And that is what the Germans are doing. Uh, instead of saying we are happy with this, uh, they are saying no. Uh, we are going to defy this and we are going ahead with formal liturgies for same-sex blessings, even though Fiducia Supplicant says that this is the last word on the matter and uh, uh, the, you know uh, there will be no permission granted to uh, uh, any formal liturgy for same-sex blessings. Uh, the German bishops are simply saying, uh, we're going ahead. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll see if any corrections come out. I mean, like actually removing a bishop from his diocese, as happened in the United States recently. Um, finally, uh, Jules, there's some breaking news uh, out of India and how priests down there are responding. Could you take us there? Well, again, Brad, the priests in India, by and large, tend to be very liberal. In fact, just last week, I mean, I'm speaking to a number of them, and uh, uh, the, the very tiny conservative minority are distressed over this. Uh, they're saying that the vast majority of liberal Catholic priests are just rejoicing. In fact, last week, as you know, a stunning example uh, of of this uh, rebellion against God's holy word, a Saint Peter's Pontifical Seminary. We're talking about a pontifical seminary in Maleshwara, Bangalore, had a seminar on LGBT people. And it actually, uh, one of the speakers there, Sister Gadesula Jyotsna, talked about, now, now hold on to your seats, she just didn't talk about LGBT people. She talked about, and the conference talked about, LGBTQQIP. To SAA people. And she said that uh, there are many more genders than even what they have described at the conference because our understanding, you see, Brad, is always evolving. And Father Anthony Lawrence, the president of St. Peter's Pontifical Seminary, said that. He said uh, the Pope could have said homosexuality is wrong or disordered, but he did not say that. So, Everything is fine. Well, it's a, a, a bit of a bumpy ride, to say the least, with Cardinal Fernandez regarding the acceptance of his latest declaration. Uh, probably not upsetting him too much, however. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, we need to remember that God allows the evil of confusion only to bring forth greater clarity. But as Jesus said in Matthew 18:7, it must needs be that 
scandals come, but he also added, woe to that man by whom the scandal comes. Something all church leaders need to keep in mind. And have a, a blessed Christmas, and owing to the holiday, Rome Dispatch will be on hiatus until uh, next Friday, but uh, you want to tune in that time. We're going to connect a few more dots and see where all this is going, uh, especially with Cardinal Fernandez. Uh, December 29th, that will be, and uh, a special edition of Rome Dispatch will be airing tomorrow, Saturday, 1223. Uh, unusual for it tomorrow, but it's an unusual Rome Dispatch as well. Uh, that will be uh, taking a look at our upcoming retreat at sea that's coming in February and a little behind the scenes look uh, into Jules, myself, our role. Uh, we'll also be on that retreat, so check it out tomorrow. Jules, thank you so much for laying all these data points out in this story and connecting all the dots for us. Thank you, Brad. Thanks again for watching today's episode of Rome Dispatch. This show is brought to you by donors like Real Estate for Life. If you're looking to buy or sell a home and want to support our mission, visit realestateforlife.org. Again, that's realestateforlife.org. Be sure to tell them Church Militant sent you. God bless.